guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs, and today I am making a fall tumbler. Super excited. Fourth of July is over with, so now it's fall, and you cannot convince me otherwise. But seriously, I love fall. It's my all-time favorite season. It's just like so soothing and comforting. Everything about it, I could go on forever. But I'm gonna make my first fall-themed tumbler of the year. I am using a 20 ounce from Makerflow Crafts. I spray painted it metallic gold from Rust-Oleum. And for the glitter, I'm going to be using Stellar Rose from the Glitter Grind. I thought putting a rose gold on a bright metallic gold base would be really pretty. Might make it look a little brassy. Um, so that's what I'm going for. So all I'm doing today, Mod Podge in the glitter on this cup, um, pushing it down good and flat because this is a chunky mix. And then um, epoxying until smooth, which is probably going to be two coats being a chunky glitter. So, all of that being said, let's get started. All right, so I'm going to try to scrape some Mod Podge out of the bottom of this and just put it over the entire tumbler. And I've said it before, whenever I use this metallic paint, um, it like, see how it's already spreading? It like separates from the paint. This is like such a smooth paint. Um, it's weird. It happens every time, even if, you know, I prep sand, the tumbler, all that stuff. Really weird. Look at that. Super weird. So, I might have to put a couple layers of this glitter over it because of this. But I'm just covering the entire tumbler and I don't think I've even opened this. I do that every time. Well, this is so pretty though. I'm not even going to put the shaker back on it. The lid. I'll go over this really quickly again. And just start, whoa, start dumping. This is so pretty. I'm trying not to make it too globby. I just don't have the patience to keep the shaker on and use chunky glitter. <laughs> All right, so what? I love, well, one of the things I really love about the Glitter Grinds Glitter is that it lays so flat on its own, you really barely have to go through and touch it up. And I have not run into another glitter like that. So, I am just going here and there and finding a couple pieces that are sticking up and just pushing them back down. And now the only thing left to do, look how pretty that is though. Now, the only thing left to do for today is to spray seal this with two times Rust-Oleum Clear, get her on my turner from Bama Cups, and epoxy until smooth. All right, so it's actually just the next day. There's only one coat on here, but there's only a couple little spots here and there that are rough, so I'm going to sand it down really good with my sanding block here. And then do a hydro dip. Um, I'm going to explain the hydro dip to you guys. And then I'm going to take the camera outside to show you. So pretty much I just have this bucket of water. It's just from the hose. Nothing special. Um, so it's cold. Um, and then I'm going to take spray paints of my choice. Which I have metallic gold. Gloss cranberry. And warm caramel. All from Rust-Oleum. And I'm just going to spray... Um, just randomly these paints into the water and then take a popsicle stick, swirl it around, give it a little swirly design, and then dip the cup into the water. Okay, so I actually completely forgot about how pigmented, I guess, the paints are. I've been doing um, hydro dips with Easy Marbles for a while, 
and um, they're a little more transparent I feel so I did cover up like all of the glitter you can see it in some spots um, so I do feel bad about that but look how pretty you cannot tell me that doesn't look like fall you can't tell me I mean you can I'm just kidding you can it's just my opinion but I think it's beautiful so I have a paper towel and I'm just going to very lightly um, dab all of the water spots so it doesn't dry looking all like spotty and blotchy and stuff so you can actually see some of that sparkle from that beautiful rose gold glitter that I used um, through some of these colors especially like the burgundy you can see the sparkle through it so now I'm just going to let this dry completely um, so probably like 20 minutes or so and then pop it on my turner back here from Mama Cups get some epoxy going and then come back tomorrow and show you guys the next step all right y'all it's the next day and this is super cute you can see the sparkle of that glitter through the tumbler so I felt bad at first I was like oh my gosh I completely wasted that glitter doing it but you can see it and I also totally last minute decided to add a little bit of helix from the glitter grind into my epoxy before I epoxied this yesterday this is just an additive from the glitter grind it looks like it's silver but once you get it onto a tumbler it's not it's just adds like a subtle sparkle so you can see the sparkle from the rose gold glitter and then the sparkle from the helix additive as well next step we're gonna take some white spray paint and just pick a section of the tumbler um, I don't want to cover that up because I feel like that is gorgeous there's a spot back here like right here where it kind of looks more globby I guess like yeah like in this area so I'm gonna spray paint this just about meh like that much maybe and then let that dry and come back okay so now this is what we're working with I know it looks kind of funky right now but just give it a chance so this is all dry this is the image that I'm using it says just the girl who loves fall the image is from Etsy I'll make sure to put a link down in the description for you guys so basically we're just gonna put it on the white spot obviously so it can show up and then use some acetone to rub off some of that paint around it and make it look really cute also this is Hayes water slide paper so I'm gonna make sure to put a link for them down in the description as well um, the water that I'm using is about room temp and then my cup cradle here from Bama Cups is an absolute must. I always have my link for them down in the description um, for cup turner purposes, but you can go to the same link to check out the cup cradles and other accessories that he offers. So now I'm going to let that completely dry for just a few minutes, probably like 10 or 15 minutes, work on something else, and then come back to show you all the next step. Okay, so now I've got some pure acetone and some cotton balls, all from Amazon, as well as um, this little dispenser here. Makes it a lot easier to use that. So pretty much what we're going to do is just remove the edges, but not make it like totally perfect. Um... I want it to look kind of like, I don't want to say jagged, but just not a straight line. So I'm just putting some acetone on my cotton ball here and just bringing that in. Trying not to make it a straight line. It's really, really hard to not make it a straight line, but we'll do my best here. Try not to get any acetone on the water slide itself because it's going to tear the paper up and we don't want that. So I'm just trying to get as close to it as I can without touching it. So that's what I'm left with. So now I'm just going to kind of go around and clean up some of the paint that was left behind that's not a part of 
what we're doing here. It's pretty much just trying to brush it all towards the main part here. And there we go. So now the only thing left to do is epoxy, so I'm going to do that and then come back tomorrow and show you the results. Okay, so the next day, and this has a coat of epoxy over it. It's good and smooth. It turned out super cute, I think. I really just love the color and like the swirly design. I love hydro dips, but I really like that you can very lightly see that subtle sparkle of not only the helix that I mixed in, but the glitter underneath of all this. So look how cute. Before I go, I do have y'all's cup of positivity for the day. And today's quote is, happiness is a butterfly, which when pursued is always just beyond your grasp, but which if you will sit down quietly may alight upon you. That was said by Nathaniel Hawthorne. That is all I have for you guys today. If you love fall as much as I do, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think about this. I really think it's beautiful. I can't wait until it's cold enough outside that I need to put on a sweater instead of a tank top. If you guys have any questions, like always, please feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe, be kind, love one another, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!